So today I have a very random treat for you. I will be showing you a suite here on board the brand new MSC Seascape. Now this is no ordinary suite. Oh no, this here is a suite with a jacuzzi. Now this is not planned. This is actually the end of the cruise disembarkation day. Now the gentleman that was gracious enough to let me see the room, unfortunately they did leave. There is a little bit of a mess. There's been food and well, people have been staying here for the past week. However, I am gonna do a quick walkthrough and review of of the room and give you a price point as well just kind of like ballpark figure by the way of course this video is brought to you by touring plans travel agency if you want to book this suite or any other room on any other cruise ship for that matter or maybe go to disney world you can check them out for your ultimate vacation experience link is in the description box below so as we approach this is cabin number 9238 it's located near the aft of the ship not quite there all the way back there is the aft of the back of the ship but this is toward that area you'll see whenever i show you the balcony so we can go ahead and walk in and as you can see, it's a, definitely a decent size, regardless of what ship you have been on. We're just going to go ahead and start from the front and work our way back for you guys. So over here, it looks just like any other regular stateroom that I've been in here on board. You do have your temperature setting, which I've noticed this is a brand new ship. Works very, very well. If you want it warm, it gets warm very quickly. If you want it cold, it gets cold very quickly. This guy here is the main power switch. So if I turn it off, as you can see, it turns off this area here. You can double click it to turn everything off. If not, it'll turn off one set, this hallway here, and then it'll turn off the second set and turn off all the lights. Right here we do have a walk-in closet, which is very, very spacious. It reminds me of the Yacht Club suites. Keep in mind, this is a regular suite, not a Yacht Club suite. Yacht Club is like the premier room that you have here on board. But as you can see, very, very spacious. There is plenty of room you see here. Lots of room to put all of your stuff, all of your belongings for your cruise. Of course, these rooms do come with nice robes since this is a suite. I'll tell you right now, if I ended up getting this room, I would never take this thing off. I say it all the time, and I mean it. Coming into the right, the first thing you'll see here is a nice couch. Very, very comfortable. Personally, I thought it would have maybe been like turned out or shifted so that it's somewhat facing this way. But either way, you have this couch here, you also have this couch here. And I have noticed the couches here are pretty comfortable overall. We look over here to the desk. There are plenty of outlets. There's USB ports here. There's a US port here. There is the European outlets and plugs here as well. And I guess the switch here turns off this. Yep, the desk light here. The TV here is on a swivel. So whatever position you want to put it in, you want to face it near the bed, you go ahead. That way you can lay down and, and enjoy yourself. There are plenty of cubbies here as well. As you can see, I'm not going to go and open all of them, but you get the idea. Hair dryer is also located in this area, in this main drawer. You have two stools over here as well if you want to sit down. There's this one here, and there's this guy over here. Back on the top of the desk, of course, you have the phone. If you need to call room service, you want to call the spa, you want to set up a wake-up call, it's all there available for you. Over here on the desk, please don't mind the mess. I swear, I didn't do it. It was a guest, but like I said, it's the end of the cruise. Humans were staying here believe it or not so don't freak out there's plenty of shelf space up here as well there is a pretty big mirror and then you have the mini bar so this is not a refrigerator unfortunately it is locked i will have up my tour and my mini bar is open so there are all kinds of delectable treats and drinks and stuff that you can have in the mini bar got a painting here and there is a secondary temperature gauge here for some reason i mean this room is not massive so i guess maybe there's two you can control this part of it with, with one temperature gauge and maybe the rest of it controls the other half. I'm not exactly sure, but a very, very interesting feature. Working our way around the bed, you do have a nice little reading light area set up here. You can turn these lights on here and the main power can also be controlled here. If you want to turn all the power off, you don't want to get out of bed, you can just use this button right here. But there unfortunately is not a USB port on this side. It's only on the other side on all of their rooms, all of their suites, even including the yacht suites. The bed here, I would say is pretty comfortable overall if you like like firm it's not super super firm but it's enough that maybe if it's not your cup of tea then maybe you won't be so comfortable but personally I did sleep like a baby when I was here of course, you got a nice large mirror. I've noticed this is in every room except for, I believe, the interior. However, I've not been in the interior, but uh, who knows? This has been the usual setup. I wonder why they put this here. Like, so you guys out there, don't get any crazy ideas, or you can. I really don't care. Opposite side, same as this side over here, except there is actually a USB port in case you want to charge your phone. There is also these little cubbies here. There's a resting area. If you want to leave your phone here, you want to leave your the TV remote here, and if you want to just kind of stuff something here for the cruise, you can do that as well. Over here, you have a chair stuffed with towels i had to put the stuff somewhere in order to make things look somewhat presentable but there's also another chair so you got this guy and then you have that couch and you have the other couch check out this balcony here so as soon as you see it is 
a decent size. However, we do have this hot tub here. I'll check out in a minute. But you have two chairs, one, two, a uh, resting area for your feet. And then you have this hot tub, just a jacuzzi. We can get the hot tub. I talked to the passenger that did rent out this room. He said he had a good time. The hot tub was very responsive. It got hot very quickly, filled up very quickly, and well, as you could imagine, it's always a good time in a hot tub. Working our way back over to the bathroom. The one thing I've noticed is that, yes, there is an actual tub in here. I have a, what's called a luxurious balcony. We don't have one of these, so it's definitely a nice feature to have. And it looks like it's a pretty decent size. Now, for everybody else, I have mentioned in these bathrooms, maybe it's just like the whole ship too, actually. But the bathroom in particular for me seems a little bit shorter than your average areas here on board the MSC Seascape. So I would say if somebody is like maybe over six foot tall, maybe you probably opt to try to, I don't know, a fetal position in the bathtub if you could fit, because this here is a uh, very short. You can see I'm five, six and a half, and well, my hand doesn't even have to stretch fully out in order to be able to touch the ceiling. I'm gonna step outside to show you the sink and everything. It's definitely a little tight in here due to the fact that there is the tub, because I would say the bathroom area is not really much bigger than what you would see on maybe like a standard balcony or an interior. But here is the area, you can see there's shelves that are here, there are the cups that are here, there's the sink that is here, but on all these rooms, I have noticed, I believe with the exception of the Yacht Club suites, these sinks are ridiculously small, so uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Of course you have the mirrors and then you have some cubby areas if you want to store some stuff. Extra tissue paper down here, there's plenty of towel space, and then you also have towel rack right over here and then of course with the shower it is detachable as well unfortunately our guest that booked this room is not available he has since disembarked the ship and i need to uh, pretty soon as well after i do my room tour and i do apologize i know this video is kind of hectic all over the place it's a mess but I would say overall, this is not bad. And MSC has some of the best prices out there competitively when it comes to their suites and their room in general, including the Yacht Club. But I did get an estimation of the price. You can get this price, or uh, this room rather, for about $1,300 per person you factor that into your average cruise without all of the frills and all, all the craziness and maybe even before port taxes and fees you were talking around twenty six hundred dollars if you are taking two people well you're gonna have to at least pay the supplemental fee if you are here by yourself but i would say overall for a suite that is not bad because if you go on let's say like a royal caribbean or even a newer carnival ship if you want a balcony well, just a regular balcony at that. You're going to have to typically pay around this price that you would pay here for a suite on board the MSC Seascape. Anyway, I hope you guys appreciated this tour and review. Once again, I apologize for it being so hectic. I'm just a little bit crunched for time right now, and I got to go ahead and disembark the ship. I appreciate all of you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love all of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.